Hi there! This video is here to help you add two mixed numbers. A mixed number has a whole number part and a fraction part. In the mixed number 3 and 4 sevenths, 3 is the whole number part and 4 sevenths is the fraction part. When we are adding fractions with different denominators, we need to find and use the lowest common denominator so we can calculate using the same denominator. If you need a reminder about adding fractions that don't have the same denominator, then watch our adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators video. Let's have a look at calculation together. 4 and 2 fifths add 2 and 1 fifths. We can partition each mixed number so that we can add the whole number parts together, add the fraction parts together, and then recombine to get the total answer. So first we partition the mixed numbers. Let's add the whole number parts. 4 add 2 equals 6. Now we need to add the fraction parts. 2 fifths add 1 fifth equals 3 fifths. Finally we can recombine the whole number part and the fraction part to give our answer 6 and 3 fifths. So our steps are partition, Add the whole parts, add the fraction parts, recombine. Let's try another calculation. 2 and a quarter add 3 and 5 twelfths. We can work through our steps like we did before. So first we partition the mixed numbers. Next we add the whole parts. 2 add 3 which equals 5. Now we need to add the fraction parts. 1 quarter add 5 twelfths. As you can see, this time the fractions do not have a common denominator. We need 1 quarter and 5 twelfths to have the same denominator. The lowest common denominator is 12, so we need to find the equivalent fraction in twelfths of 1 quarter. 1 quarter equals 3 twelfths, so we can replace this in the calculation. Now we can add the fraction parts. 3 twelfths add 5 twelfths equals 8 twelfths. 8 twelfths can be simplified to 2 thirds. Finally, we recombine and our final answer is 5 and 2 thirds. So 2 and 1 quarter add 3 and 5 twelfths equals 5 and 2 thirds. Now it's your turn to try some. Remember the steps. Partition, add the whole parts, add the fraction parts, recombine. Pause here while you answer the questions. How did you get on? Check your answers and fix any mistakes. Pause the video again if you need to take a closer look at the workings. 9 and 4 sevenths add 3 and 2 sevenths equals 12 and 6 sevenths. 2 and 1 sixth add 4 and 2 thirds equals 6 and 5 sixths. 5 and a half add 7 and 3 sixteenths equals 12 and 11 sixteenths. Now for a final calculation. 5 and 4 fifths add 3 and 7 tenths. Solve the calculation and see what you notice is different about this calculation. How did you get on? When you add the fraction parts, 4 fifths and 7 tenths, you get an improper fraction. 15 tenths, which you can convert to another mixed number, 1 and 5 tenths. That means that we need to add the whole number parts again, so we have 9 and 5 tenths. Because 5 tenths is equivalent to a half, we can simplify it to our final answer, 9 and a half. I hope this video has helped you to understand how to add two mixed numbers. If you still need more maths help, we have lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website, so make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching!